Welcome to our episode of Barman Saturdays. This way, I also decided to take a look at the Emperor's New Clothes, also by Burbank Animation Studios. And honestly, I just felt the film was a bit too long at like 50 some minutes, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Studios like to drag things out. It's like, we have to sell this as a direct video, so we have to make sure it's worth their money, you know, sort of appeal. Problem is, you know, longer is not always better. And with the Emperor's new clothes, you're like, you know, it's a pretty simple story. There's not that much to say about it, so getting it to be 50 minutes long means you gotta throw in padding with extra characters and scenes, and then have the um, Empress constantly show up to yell at Louis about, you know, how he's messed up his clothes or he's wearing the wrong clothes, because everything's about appearance with her, so if you're wearing the wrong outfit, you're just completely screwed in life. And constantly chastising him, you know, for wrecking his clothes, but, you know, not for wrecking the palace. Like, in one scene, she's going on about how he ruins his shirt, but he tears a drape and breaks a chandelier and just completely shatters it because it's, like, made of glass or something. Like, the entire thing is just completely broken. And accidentally throws himself off, like, a second-story window or something. Yeah, the thing she worries about is his shirt. I know it's, like, a cartoon stuff here, but... Seriously, the thing that you're worried about is his shirt. Uh, you think she'd be yelling at him, you know, about the damage he did to the the palace, and then chastising him for almost killing himself by throwing himself off the second floor. You know, like just straight out the window and just go bam right on the ground below. I mean, if it wasn't for that tree branch catching him and wrecking his shirt, like don't ask me how it managed to catch him so thoroughly it didn't instantly snap. Anyway, you know, considering how much weight he would have been applying to it. Like, oh, I can handle the, the fast load, which would be much heavier, because let's face it, when you hit an object at speed, you apply a lot more force to it when you're, you know, just laying against it or something. Because you gotta add in, you know, the velocity times mass equals force thing. So if you're not moving, you know, it's just some um, force you're applying is just your mass. So, yeah. How it didn't instantly snap, considering it snapped later underneath his weight, is beyond me. Like, maybe it was okay for a quick time load, but, you know, a sustained load was just too much for the branch, so it just breaks. Um, though, honestly, like I said, I suspected it was snapped in the first place, if that was going to be the issue. Uh, I know I'm going on about that branch, but it just bugs me, considering, you know, for the most part they try to stay down to the earth, but, you know, it just being common, pretending they can weave gold and jewels into this fine thread that only, you know, intelligent people can see. You know, fools can't see these beautiful garments we're making. So you know if someone's a fool if they can't see your clothes. Of course, if they can't see your clothes, what do they see? Do they see him naked? You know, if my choice was knowing that someone was, you know, could see my clothes or they're a fool, I think I'd rather, you know, just wear normal clothes instead of being seen, you know, in the nude. Um... Because that would be pretty embarrassing, I imagine, if you're a king, you know, and talking to your subjects or something. All of a sudden, it's like, I can't see your clothes, sir. Like, why are you standing on your throne naked? Um, so, yeah. I think they offer some explanation of what they see in the movie at some point. But at that point, I wasn't paying too much attention to things. Sometimes the small details do escape my notice. But, yeah. <sighs> Not the biggest fan of the Emperor's New Clothes, but... It's probably not the worst um, movie Burbank Animation Studios has put out. I definitely complain longer, probably about on the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I might do that one soon. Though I was planning on doing some Christmas movies for next week, or at least movies based around Christmas time. <laughs> Till next time, then. See ya. <laughs>